Revit has a tool called Stair by Sketch, which allows you to draw in a staircase by just sketching in the way it should look. That tool also exists after a staircase has already been drawn. And I want to show you both examples here. I'm going to come in here to the Architecture tab, and then right next to the word Stair, there's a down arrow. If you select on that, you can see that there's Stair by Component, as well as Stair by Sketch. And the first one I want to do is a Stair by Component. So if you select on that, and now we're just going to do a normal run staircase. Click once, draw in this direction, click again, and then click on the big green check mark whenever it's done. And it places in a staircase. Now, the other kind of stair that you can do, underneath architecture again, right next to the word stair, I'm clicking on the little arrow, is a stair by sketch. If you do this, there's actually two different things that this can do. The first one is called run. The other way is a boundary. And that's what I'd like to do in this case, is going to be the boundary staircase. And by doing a boundary, you start off by sketching in where you want the outside boundary of your staircase to be. In this case, I'm going to make it be, say, 16 foot 6 inches long. Next thing, I'm going to create another boundary. I'm going to make this 4 feet to the outside. If I wanted to have any sort of special condition on the end of this, I could. If I selected back on boundary again, I could even choose this little arc tool. I could click, click, and then draw in an arc shape here. I could select on the little line tool here, draw this out so it's evened up. And now I could have a landing that did this condition. Now the next thing I want to do is select on riser. And this is the time consuming part of this, where you can click and click. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select on this. I'm going to try to use the copy command on it. I'm going to do this multiple times. I'm going to click, move down here, and I'm going to tell this 11 inches. So now I know that I have a copy of it 11 inches down, and I hit escape a couple of times to get out of the command. We can see that there's been two risers created, and there's still 16 remaining. It shows up down here toward the bottom of the screen. Well, now that I have two, I can click on this, come back up here to copy, make sure that multiple is checkmarked, and now I can just start picking the endpoints of each one of these as I go. And we can see how many are still left remaining with every click. Right now I have eight remaining. Down to only five remaining. I can see that I'm already going to have a little bit more than what I need. So now I'm going to hit escape. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select on this arc. So I just clicked on it. And now I'm going to move my mouse over until the little arrows show up. Now I'm going to click and hold my mouse button down and just drag this on up. You notice how these lines have now extended themselves out and are now touching this green line. I could now delete this extra little line that I created before because I just don't need it anymore. And I can click on this line and pull it up. I could even click on the green arc right here and pull it back. And now have this condition here. And we've done this by modifying the sketch. Finally, if we click on the big green check mark, it'll create a staircase based off of that sketch. We can do the same sort of sketch thing on this staircase that we created earlier. If we select on the staircase, we can go to Edit Stair on the ribbon, select on the staircase, and now there's an option here called Convert. And what it does is it converts it to the sketch base, which means it converts it to the same kind of staircase that we just did over here. We're just going to click on Close to that. It's now converted it. And if we select it on Edit Sketch, we can see this has the same green lines, same black lines right here. If we wanted to add an arc to it, in this case, I'm going to add an arc from right here, draw over to right here, and now just sort of create this arc shape. I can pull these dark lines over, and I can pull this green line back so it's one continuous green line if I follow it from here back to the start. And now finally, if I click on the big green check mark to this, you can see that the railing and the staircase has updated itself. And I'm going to click on the green check mark again, and we can take a look at this in a 3D view. So you can edit the sketch of either kind of staircase to create custom staircase conditions.